Enable notifications by ringing the bell. So, the meanwhile, pro- back at the Hall of Justice, Aquaman is eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And in other news, uh, Jason Mo- Jason Maybe. Momoa is a pretty badass Aquaman. If I say I mean, so much, he's yeah. just generally a badass. Yeah, and he okay. Here's the thing. Post this is a post Justice League, and post Justice League, th- we're going with our. From what I understand, DC, uh, the DC Extended Universe is pretty much going on a halt and not doing another Justice League film for a while, and instead they're going to focus on the individual stories. Good! Kind of like what they did with Wonder Woman, in which that was the most well-received DC film Mm -hmm. since uh, the Dark Knight Knight series by Christopher Nolan. Since since Bat Nolan, yeah. 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 So, in turn, what we're getting here is we are getting... uh, We're pretty much getting... What we wanted, we're getting the solo films with the actors that we were excited about when they announced the Justice League movie. And it's just mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. okay, so Jason Momoa as uh, Aquaman. All right, when are we going to see the Aquaman movie? Uh, 2016. No, wait, 2017. No, wait, 2018. Are we still doing 2018? Yes, yeah, still doing 2018. So, okay. so <laughs> wait, it is, kept it, getting... is it actually coming out this year? Yes. Oh. Late this year, I believe. Uh, That's December. surprising. So, it's something that I am very excited about because... Hopefully this will rectify all of the problems that I've had so far with uh, the running of the DC Expanded Universe, which got off to a rocky start with Man of Steel, Batman v Superman. Yeah, I know, I know. We've harped on about this. That's why I'm not going to be on it long. Yep. Yeah. Also, so, you know. It's already irreparable for me, yeah. unfortunately. Well, Ooh, DC, with, like, Marvel fanboys. Me, me, me. Okay, first <laughs> off, okay, first off, my favorite superhero is Batman. I feel Suck like that's a pretty Same. accurate uh, impression of the comment section, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very my accurate. favorite superhero you know is Batman. And you know what? Just because you did that, yeah. Ben, they're going to be down below. It's like, oh, they're so pretentious and they think they know what we're talking the, the, they know what they're talking about. It's like, yeah, we oh, do because or, we or, are the ones that or, have the thoughts. <laughs> well, actually. Yeah, well. Let, let me stop you right back. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, they pull a, they pull a, a, tenth, a 11th doctor. It's like, listen here, you little shit. It's like the whole. It's like that whole thing. I'm just like, God dang it. Okay. So, so yeah. Enough talk. Have at. Have at. Push the uh, Bhutan. Them. Push Bhutan. Yeah, pushing Bhutan. Gotta push Bhutan for SummerSlam. Yep. And here Beep we go. Boop. Okay. My good. My father was a lighthouse keeper. Was he now? My mother was a queen. Oh, hey. But life is a way of bringing people together. Well, yeah, it does. Our worlds one day. Check it out. Arthur is talking to the fish. Oh, oh boy. fuck. That's terrible. Hey, buddy. Hi, buddy. They made me what I am. Y'all want to go? Look at this dude. Peekaboo. Hey, fellas. What's up, Arthur? I'm aboard. Oh, wow. Damn. All right. I've been looking for you. Hey. Your half brother King Orm is about to declare war. Patrick the Stewart war. or Pat- Patrick Wilson, rather. Yeah. It's like Patrick Stewart. What Patrick the fuck? Wilson. What? Patrick Wilson. 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 Sorry. Take your rightful place as king. Trust me, I am no king. You do your best thinking when you're not thinking at all. That was the worst pep talk ever. <laughs> <laughs> Love all it. All right. Okay. Oh, wow. Good. Solid imagery. Yes. Or James Wan, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Yeah. yeah. James Wan. Wow. Tremendous direction from him. Always does good work. Challenge me for the throne. I call it an ass whooping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ah, yes. I'm no leader. I came because I had no choice. I came to save my own. And the people that I love. You think you're unworthy to lead because you're of two different worlds. That is exactly why you are worthy. That was awesome. Was that gonna be Black Manta? There he is! Ah! Found him! Okay, 
good get into like sea monsters and shit. <laughs> I love how much fun he's having. That's see, real good. That's gonna be see, real good. You see, Jason Momoa when he's having fun with a role, it's oh, awesome. When yeah. he like, like for instance, he says one of the most, one of the biggest roles he's having fun with right now is his uh, role as Declan Hart in Frontier, and I can see that whenever he's playing the part because he gets to live out in the wilderness, chop things up with an axe, and fight people. That's what he loves to, and honestly, he says he loves doing that. He just loves, like, he said if he if he could, he'd just live out in the woods and just, like, live off the land. Yeah, like, I, he, uh, you can tell when he's having fun with a role. Like, like right um, here. Um, Stargate Atlantis. Oh, yes, exactly. He was having so much fun as Ronan Dex. Yeah, and in this, uh, in this, you can definitely tell he's having fun because, uh, you look at him, He's just got this look of joy on his face throughout the entire film. Mm -hmm. They're having fun with, like, uh, James Wan as well, with his direction here. You can tell he is actually wanting to tell a good story. Yeah. You can tell with the imagery. You can tell that it's bright, it's colorful. You can actually see it. The color palettes. You can actually make stuff out instead of what we got in Batman v Superman, which was, yeah. which was everything's got to be dark. Everything's got to be, you know, have the gray tone dark shift. Everything's got to be, you know, we can't be, we can't, we can't. You know, we can't not take this overly serious. We actually have to, like, have everything so dark and, you know, gothic. And all. It's like, guys, it's a comic book. Have fun with it. I mean, you're yeah. going to have your serious moments, of course, but have fun with it. I don't know if I've told you guys this, but Batman versus Superman is literally the only time I have ever fallen asleep in a movie theater. Wow. Whoa. Wow. wow. Yeah, I was watching it with my buddy, and, like, uh, you know, it just got so boring <laughs> halfway through. Nothing was happening, and all of a sudden, I'm, like, and then I felt, and I was like, ah. Oh. What the fuck? I was like, shit, sorry. I, I really can't say anything. I fell asleep during Paranormal Activity, too, so. That's fair. Well, That's yeah, fair. I mean, nothing happens in that movie. Yeah. Nothing I mean, happens. It was actually quite boring, so. Yeah. I don't know. I actually like the paranormal I see movies. Well, well I, I like movies, really. But... Here's the thing. I watched the paranormal movies with uh, with uh, girls that I was uh, dating at the time, and so I went... you weren't really paying attention to the movie. No, I was paying attention to the movie. <laughs> it's just I was enticed to pay attention to the movie because the entire time I had this going on. Like, okay, like, yeah, yeah. Like her pre then pretty he, much he ripping doing, into my arm. Yeah, death grip on my arm. Yeah, they were yeah, pretty thank much. Thank you for not actually going death grip on my arm. <laughs> no, 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 uh, no, that no, would have no. hurt I, like a lot. <laughs> no, no, I, no, because they they had the death grip on my arm and it was it was pretty pretty bad. But at the same time, uh, I was actually intrigued by the story to some degree. And then I watched the fourth one and I was just like, well, Meh. and I was just like, actually, I remember after the movie was over and the whole you know thing happened, I was just like. Done, and I got up and I walked out, and uh, I, I haven't watched a paranormal activity movie since. I love the first one. I love the second one. I love the third one. Oh fuck! Dolph I love Lundgren's in I this love movie. the first one and the second. Oh, really? Third were okay. Dolph Lundgren is in this movie. Uh, Sorry, I just I pulled up Doctor Dolph Lundgren. Lundgren. Uh, Willem Dafoe uh, oh, yes. will be a mentor to Aquaman. Patrick Wilson, yeah. Dolph Lundgren as the uh, King of the Atlantean tribe of uh, uh, Zebel and Mira's father. Ooh. Uh, Black Manta, yeah. <laughs> uh, Nicole Kidman, uh, Queen Atlana, mother of uh, Arthur Curry. Let's see. So we have. Oh, God. Um, Yahya Abdul Mateen II is Black Manta. Okay. Uh, Patrick Wilson, Ocean Master, or Orm. Him, yeah. Which is pretty cool. Uh, uh, I met him. I don't know if I mentioned that before. They kept Black Manta really close to how I've seen him in other stuff. Yeah, he looked yeah. Oh, real yeah. good. I like I like that they've that they've kept him looking the same, and I like yeah. that they've kept they've kept uh, you know Amber Heard's hair. Well, I I forget what's her name. Damn it, Mira. Mira, Mira yeah. thank you. Mira uh, like I'm, looks I'm glad, dead on. I'm glad they've got Mira's hair right because to me that's like that's like. Almost like Ariel from yeah, from like the it's, Little Mermaid, it's stupid that red, hair red. Is striking. Yeah. yeah, and honestly, 
you need things that are striking in this film that are going to like entice people's imaginations because if mm-hmm, you're going to try mm-hmm. and logicify everything into being like, well, this could exist in the rip, no, it's a comic book. And the let fact- people let, let people dream, let people have imagination. There are people breathing underwater, so yeah, yeah I mean, so, there's a whole bunch of fighting shit going to, on underwater. You have to have an element of suspension of disbelief to be able but, to enjoy it. So. But also, yeah, I mean, they made Aquaman look pretty goddamn cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's no, weird to no, say. No purple, bo- no purple, or not purple, no, no, no orange and green bodysuit. Oh they, god, they didn't, you know, give him a, the hook hand to try to make him all gritty. And the best part, well, best part slash worst part, uh, they didn't have him driving a box truck full of uh, fish, full swordfish, like a like an, a box truck with an aquarium on the back with a top that flips open. Just so he can. That use. was an actual thing in the comics. Uh, there were so uh, anglerfish that he could use to like blind people, like spotlights. Uh, he would launch swordfish out of the top oh to pin people God. to walls. It was <laughs> like this was serious. So and also, well, they got Jason Momoa to play him, and and. I'm just happy that Jason Momoa is like in more stuff because I love Jason Momoa. He, he does good work. Yeah, he, he does. does. He does. He does very good work. Oh, and and also I I'm looking forward to see it how they tell the story in this, and I'm wondering if they're going to keep doing the continuation of the DC Cinematic Universe instead of it being instead of it being overwhelmingly like crammed in there mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. like having six storylines in one film that you can't actually get a grip of any of them. Instead, you have this main storyline with all the other things like sprinkled in there, and like a keen eye, you'll catch it, and all this and all that. Instead of instead of uh, pretty much DC going, hey, there's gonna be more of these. There's there's gonna be more of these. There's gonna be more of these. Pay attention. Pay attention. So the vision for this was described like Juan's vision for this was described as Star Wars underwater. Nice. I'm in. Very nice. I'm yeah. in. Oh, and. Oh, I'm man. just so disappointed that this DCU has been so hit or miss because they've done really good hit. things that you're like, if, if they re-rebooted it and kept this, like Wonder Woman, and mm-hmm. it looks like Aquaman, yeah, and then didn't screw up exactly everything else with the whole thing, yeah, it could be really badass like MCU, but it's just disappointing that how like they've screwed up they Suicide decided, Squad, well, they've screwed yeah. up Batman and Superman. Well, they decided they had the, to play catch-up. Well, the funny, yeah. the funny thing is... Uh, Jeff Johns took over as the lead of the DC of the DC Extended Universe uh, before uh, during or when the production of Wonder Woman started, and he was actually one of the ones to who wanted Patty Jenkins to be the director of Wonder Woman, and one of the big reasons why Wonder Woman was such a huge success, I attribute one hundred percent to Patty Jenkins because that woman is very very talented at what she does. She is a tremendous director, and I'm glad she got to tell her vision of what she wanted for Wonder Woman. Now, that being said, she's coming back for the second one, and also Gal Gadot's coming back for the second one, and I'm and I'm hoping that things continue to live up to that. The only thing that, that Jeff Johns really could not 100% save was Justice League. That was the one thing that I yeah. knew he would be able to say, because Zack Snyder, before he un- had to leave before the unfortunate death of his daughter, which, hey, I mean, I, I, I don't have much love for uh, Zack Snyder anymore. But I'd never wish anything bad oh, like yeah. that to happen to to his family. So, um, other movies that like I'm really looking forward to. I'm hoping that oh well, well shit that just screwed it up. Um, what? So I was like uh, Gotham City Sirens, uh-huh. which you know could be real good. You know Harley Quinn, Poison Catwoman, Ivy. Poison Ivy. It's a good combo. Yeah. Uh, David Ayer tweeted a picture of Black Mask at one point. And then the thing that I read is like they confirmed that Jared Leto would also appear in reprise his role as the Joker. Well, and I, I went, uh, damn no, it! No, here's the thing. I think the reason why for that is because of uh, Jared Leto's contractual obligations. Like they signed him on to be in multiple films, and I think as soon as that's done, he'll be gone. Because Please God, they're yes. trying to yeah. do another thing with another Joker, and guess who they have to play him? Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah. Which I'm interested to see that. Yeah. Because I like Joaquin Phoenix. I think whenever yeah. whenever he's going, he's he's like one of the best actors out there. But, am, I, am I the only weirdo that wants to see a Stephen? Uh, am I saying that right? Stephen Walken? Stephen. 
Christopher, Christopher Walken. Walken. Sorry. Christopher Walken. My brain is go. not working well today. Christopher Walken <laughs> Joker. Dude, yes, please. Oh, God. Amazing. Dude, I'd love that. Him is like the old crime boss Joker from like the 1930s. He's just like, yes. he's like, Batman, there's a few things I want to say to you. <laughs> Number one is, I want you to die in very painful ways. No, no. Have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? I don't Whoa. think so. <laughs> all right, we're actually going to have to end it here. We're actually right at our limit. Man. So thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, this was the trailer for Aquaman. If you want to see more, uh, link in the description down below. Also, if you want to uh, see more of us, Discord, Patreon down there as well. And until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Ben. I'm Clinton. Nick. And we'll see you later, everyone. Peace out. Peace out.